Sun splashed Hawkeye fans filled partially renovated Kinnick Stadium on Saturday as the Hawks opened the 2005 season hosting the Mid-America Conference Ball State Cardinals. The Cardinals outmanned from the beginning didn't help themselves when 13 players including eight starters were suspended just prior to kickoff. Not only was it a new look stadium but fans would also see a new look Hawkeye squad seeking their 19th consecutive home victory. With an arsenal of running backs now to work with Drew Tate and the offense went right to work against the Cardinals. His wing to the left is Scott Chandler. There's a hand off to Young. Big hole over right tackle. He's inside the 15, 10, 5 yard line. Hawkeyes first and goal. What a burst of speed by Albert Young. Here's a handoff. Schnorr over the left guard and center into the end zone. And for the first time in 2005, it's touchdown, Iowa. The more balanced attack worked to perfection. The Hawkeyes led early 7 0. After a quick three and out administered by the fired up Iowa defense, the Hawks' ground assault continued, led by Albert Young. Hinkle to the left. The handoff goes to Albert Young. He spins away from one tackler. Look out, he's loose. He's headed to the end zone. 15 10, 5 out of bounds. It'll be first and goal, Iowa. Out of the eye. Handoff goes to Albert Young. He's fighting for the goal line over left guard. He is in. Touchdown, Iowa. On the next series, Chad Greenway and Kenny Iwabima led the Hawks' smothering defense, knocking B.J. Hill for a three-yard loss. Later, after an Iwabima sack, Ball State tried to throw Iowa off by quick punting on fourth down. It didn't work. And it's heading toward the goal line and bounces back upfield at the 10th. Picked up by Johnson. 15, still going. Sidesteps a couple tackles. Now he's got a wall of blockers. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. He's midfield 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. It's going to be a touchdown, Iowa. Jovan Johnson. The onslaught would continue on the next series after a Mitch King strip and forced fumble. Drew Tate went to the air to increase the Hawkeye advantage. It's third and goal out of the gun. Tate. Fires a bullet pass goal line. Caught! Touchdown, Iowa! Clinton Solomon! Solomon's touchdown grab made it 28 to nothing, Iowa at the end of the first period. It was more of the same in the second quarter. Another sack, this time by Abdul Hodge, forced another Cardinal punt. Drew Tate then found a new target in his receiving core, Herb Grigsby. Fourth down and six. Tate wants it all. He's looking for Herb Grigsby. He's open. Caught! Touchdown, Iowa! Grigsby ran right up the sideline and somehow got hooked up with a linebacker. And that's just missed coverage by Ball State and Drew Tate lobbed the beauty. At 35 to nothing, Coach Kirk Ferentz called off the dogs, giving younger players a chance to get their feet wet in sunny Kinnick Stadium. Unfortunately for Ball State, the results were the same as backup Sean Green and Sam Brownlee ran hard, long, and often. That's Sam Brownlee fighting for the goal line. He's over! So it's third down a yard for the first down. They go to Sean Green. He gets the corner turn. First down into the end zone. Across the goal line. Touchdown, Iowa! With 241 yards rushing and 200 yards passing, the balance was evident. The Hawks rolled to a 56-0 victory over an outman Ball State team. Next week won't be nearly as easy. Iowa travels to Ames to take on a very good Iowa State squad. 